Oh, good morning. <laughs> morning, my friends. Where the hell am I? I don't know. I guess an abundant football field in Bulgaria. And it's still cloudy. We're supposed to, the weather was supposed to get better, but it's still cloudy. Oh. <laughs> Today I'm happy. Yesterday I was tired. Today I'm happy. Oh, it's cold. Yes, the bike is still here. Okay. So now I need to get dressed. I need to um, uh, have breakfast and uh, and then we will go to Plovdiv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so I'm very <laughs> I'm very happy because uh, because yesterday I passed my last mountain pass before reaching Asia. Ah, oh, that's so great. So I'm here in Bulgaria. I passed a mountain pass yesterday at 1,300 meters high. And now I'm going down to Plovdiv. And from, from where I am now, all the way to Istanbul, basically it's all the way downhill and flat. No more mountain, just easy, flat and do downhill and flat. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> so I'm almost in Asia. Mm. Okay, I'll get dressed and uh, see you for breakfast. Okay, and I, I realized I never showed you the, the protection I have when I, um, when I do uh, still camping. Look, at least, well, the protection. That's, that's my safety stuff. Well, the, the, the light, the light is obvious. Well, obvious. That was, I bought it for the, <laughs> I bought it for the, um, uh, exploration of the of the airport in uh, in Croatia of the abandoned uh, airport uh, from Tito's time. But the other uh, big protection I have is uh, which I like a lot is my uh, my pepper spray. So that's for animals. Well, basically, in case uh, in case I meet a bear. <laughs> so when I sleep outside, I always I always keep it close to me. And usually, actually, I have my Ethiopian knife uh, nearby, but. Um, well, yesterday I forgot it in my bag. The place for the substitute. <laughs> uh, it's good to sleep outside. It, it gives you... I don't know, it gives you energy. I feel it's, it's very weird. I feel full of energy today. And in, in this bag is my Ethiopian knife. I'll show it to you there. I guess it's it's a knife I'm I I'm probably not allowed to travel with, but because I travel by bike, nobody ever checks my uh, my bike my my bike. No, nobody ever checks my bags. So so far, uh, nobody takes it. But I guess at some point at the, at a border or some or something like that, I guess uh, the police is gonna take it one day. Well, the outer part, this thing is made of gold skin, and here's my knife. <laughs> and I guess I could fight back against the bear. If I have the paper spray and that, maybe I have a chance of survival? Well, hopefully I never find out. No, actually I bought it in, um, I think it's a Noromic knife. I bought it in the, in the market in Bati in Ethiopia. It's a market where you have the three main uh, tribes of uh, the Abyssinian plateau, let's say, or like yeah, the Ethiopian mainland, not the south, because in the south you have a lot of tribes. But uh, the three main tribes of the of Ethiopia meet in the market of Bati. The Afar people, the Oromo people, and the Amara people meet there. Oh, that's what I was hearing all night. There is something, there is an animal in the trash bin. Moving. Well, anyway, there is something in the trash bin. 
So that's my knife. I don't know if I'm gonna give it back to someone once I reach Ethiopia or uh, well give it back. Well give it some Ethiopian people as it's an Ethiopian knife or if I just keep it until the police uh, takes it from me. I don't know, I will see. Anyway, that's my uh, security things basically. Probably illegal security thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. Let's have breakfast. And, let, and then let's head to Plovdiv. So to present you my breakfast, there is still an animal in the, in the trash bin. I, I hear moving stuff, but let's leave it alone. I have bread left. I have some uh, walnuts left from Croatia. Cashew nuts. I have half a Bulgarian yogurt left from yesterday's dinner. And a bit of uh, dry uh, dry figs. So that's my breakfast. Oh my god, it's a rat! <laughs> it's a mouse! <laughs> I've seen it, did you see it? I've seen the her face. Oh. Wow! Go away! And my breakfast! Leave me eat my breakfast! Oh, I should threaten her with my knife, I think. Yeah. Oh, let, let's keep the, the cover on it. Go away! Because here is the food, so I need to push her this way. Yes, she escaped. Let's push her back! Oh, there is a hole there. Anyway, she went away. So that's what I... Because yesterday during the night also I was hearing some noises and I was wondering what the hell is that? Is it a ghost in this uh, abandoned building? <laughs> no, it was a mouse! <laughs> okay, so now I can have peacefully my uh, my breakfast on this bench without uh, having a mouse uh, jumping on my uh, on my bottom okay guys ready to go to plovdiv 69 kilometers to go let's go to plovdiv So that was Pazardzik. Well, quite. Uh... And I guess you're not lucky when you live here. Shall we go for another uh, another gas station meal? <laughs> Looks good. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Da. Okay. <laughs> uh, here, okay. For the see the. Greek salad and my usual yogurt. Mm. I've got some pork, 
with the sauce and mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. Very tender, very good. See you when I'm back on the road. With the sausage. Sausage and chili. Look, I've got a room for myself here in, and what's very good is it's in the in the old city of Plovdiv. You see there are cobblestones on the streets. There is a statue or church there. So it's well basically it's right uh, right in the old city. So it's quite nice for that. It's a little small compared to what I'm used to now. I have luxury now, but you see there. The shower is probably is, is here, but uh, well, I mean, I don't need more than that. So that's what I got for uh, 15 euros here in Plovdiv for my last long stopover in Europe. So guys, to finish. To finish the room tour, let's go down just to show you where I, where I park my bike. Because that's, after all, that's the most important for me. Every time I look for, for a place to stay, that's always the problem. Find a place to park my bike. So look at that. Basically, it's funny because the owners of, the, of this place, of this guest house, also own, a, they own a, a grocery store down there. And, uh, and my bike, look at that, isn't it lovely? And my bike went through this door, and there is a small uh, garage here, where I was able to put my bike, isn't it nice? I'll be able to do the laundry as well, because I really need it. That's it, okay. And if you have noticed that uh, every time I go to restaurants, I eat pork. <laughs> Basically, it's very simple. Well, I like pork, but it's like it's not like I eat only pork. But it's because probably when I will leave Bulgaria, probably the next uh, I'll spend the next year. For one year, I'll pro I'll be in uh, in Muslim countries, so I'll have no pork. <laughs> so I kind of I enjoy the pork as as I still have some because after. Uh, once I will enter Turkey, it's going to be no more pork for me for probably about a year. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the... Um, that's the end of my... Um, of my tour. Oh, I don't have the mask. And then... Um, that's the end of the room tour. You see, my room is up there. That's the... The shop of the owners of my uh, guest house and uh, well that's it for my uh, the video of my way to Plovdiv so see you for next adventures guys <laughs> ciao And as you can see, well, maybe you cannot really see what it is, but that's Roman ruins, basically. Plovdiv is a city where you have uh, Roman ruins. So it's a very old city. Okay, ciao guys. <laughs>